Church News. This is our big Easter takeover. We definitely have a jam-packed schedule for you. Kicking off on Wednesday 27th with the Hope Hub Easter lunch and 12.30 after our midday communion. Make sure you sign up to secure your lunch. This can be done via the office, our website or church suite with this handy QR code. Can't make it during the day? Never fear. The next evening is Monday, Thursday, the 28th, and we have our Passover supper at 6:30 p.m. in the Easter Centre. This is for all ages, focusing on the Last Supper. Again, please do sign up via the office, the website, or church suite via our handy QR code. On Good Friday, we have a triple offering for you. Join us at 10 a.m. outside Everyman Cinema for our Walk of Witness. It's a short pilgrimage with other churches, including songs and readings, ending with hot cross buns in the Easter Centre. Then a little later in that day at 2 p.m., our church will be open for an hour at the cross, which is a quiet hour with music, readings, reflections and prayers. To finish that day, join us at 8 p.m. in church for our Tenebrae service. The Passion by Candlelight, reflecting on the prophecies about Jesus' death, and their fulfillment. So that's Good Friday. On Easter Saturday, the 30th, we have our interactive Easter event happening in church. This is open to all ages to come and experience the story of Easter in a conceptual, creative and interactive way. Drop in any time between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. Then we come to Easter Sunday, Woo! the main event with four services. Starting at 6.15am with our sunrise service, this will be held behind the National Trust Magna Carta Tea Rooms on Runnymede. There will be some parking available and the National Trust will have tea, coffee and pastries for sale afterwards. Following that we will have our 9am traditional service in church with communion, followed by bubbly and chocolate outside in the churchyard to celebrate Jesus' resurrection. We will carry on celebrations into the 10.30 a.m. service, where we will hit pause at the Peace in Communion and celebrate again with bubbly and chocolates. This year, we even have some of our young people playing brass in the band. It's going to be amazing. It absolutely is. And to cap off the whole weekend, we'll be ending at the 6 p.m. service with an Easter feast. It is what it says on the tin. We're gonna have a big party feast in church to worship and celebrate all that Jesus' death and resurrection means for us today. I'm ready for a party. Are you? I most certainly am. Well, that's all for church news. See you next week for Easter. Woo